All right, good afternoon. Uh, today I'm going to go over demolding your beam and also marking it for testing. You'll need your beam, straight piece of plywood, timber, uh, metal, anything straight you can draw a straight line with, a drill, a tape measure, and a sharpie. First thing you're going to do before you do anything else, label the top of your beam with your group number. And contact info. You can demold your beam outdoors. I'm just doing it indoors for uh, simplicity and to block the wind noise. And you can do this anywhere from 24 hours after casting on your choice. First, to get your beam out, remove the long screw cleats that you drove through the 2x4 into the base when you were assembling. Hmm. We'll come back to that one. Let's try that first one again. If you get one that doesn't want to come out, that's not a problem. There's a workaround. Yeah, that one doesn't want to come out. We'll work around that. Take out the side cleats, too. These screws here. These should be shorter. Gather up your screws and either recycle them or throw them out. Do not leave them on the ground. This is how people get flat tires. I will toss them in here for now for disposal later. Now, we've got all but one screw out of this side. If you're lucky, they'll all come out. If not, you can force it. Grab the side that's furthest away from the screw that got stuck and just lift. There's not a whole lot holding them on. You'll repeat that process for the other side. Leave the beam on its base. Take the two face pieces in the back off. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to leave them on just for the next step to save some time. When you go to mark your beam, we're going to want to draw a grid on one side of the beam. You don't need it on both sides. Your grid should be about six inch spaced vertically, one inch horizontally. So every six inches or so make a mark. It's okay if this isn't the most precise measurement. The idea is you want to get approximate lengths along the beam. That way when you're testing, if a crack forms, you'll know exactly, you'll have a grid, rather, that'll let you know where it formed. This will also help us place your beam properly in the test rig. Vertically, go every inch. Once you've done that, take your straight edge, whatever it may be, 
and use it to draw your lines across the beam. If your marker gets clogged up with cement, uh, concrete powder like mine is, just periodically take the tip and rub it against the clean part of the plywood. Then go horizontal, or then draw your vertical lines. Alright. There you have your grid and your beam ready to go. Remember, take the back and the two side pieces off if you haven't done so already. Leave it on the base. Now, go and demold your cylinders if you haven't already done so. I show that in another video. And you are ready to test. Good luck.